Mr. Joshi, thank you so much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. I will begin by asking you what you said from the dais. You said urban planning is very important and as we saw yesterday in the budget, uh, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman also stressed on the fact that, you know, urban housing and PMAY are important for the government. What do you have to say about this? What are the government's plans when it comes to urban housing and urban planning? Urban housing is a very high priority for government, particularly affordable housing. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister had announced on 15th of August and uh, Finance Minister also said that uh, uh, a support to urban housing, affordable housing and middle class would be provided. The scheme is being worked out to uh, provide support for the loans they take. But uh, urban housing, particularly affordable housing, we are having a shortage and Government of India's priority is to work with the states and uh, urban local authorities so that urban planning process generates enough affordable housing. Uh, the entire urban planning process should make developers provide at least 15% or more uh, houses for affordable segment. Affordable housing has seen uh, growth rates which are lower than the uh, middle income or uh, luxury segments. So, we need to provide enough incentives both from the buyer's side as well as to the developers. So that in terms of higher FSI, in terms of zoning regulations, in terms of uh, uh, FSI charges, uh, in terms of density norms, so that affordable housing costs go down. Because India's urbanization story, probably half the people coming to the cities and working in the cities want affordable segment whether rental or by own. And it is our success and our work by which we can provide affordable housing. That is uh, what decides how, the uh, type of cities we are living in. Yeah. So very importantly, what Nirmala Sitaraman said yesterday is that the stress is on urban uh, affordable housing. Uh, and we have seen that, as you say, also pointed out, that the affordable housing segment has shrunk in the last, even in terms of sales and in terms of, uh, you know, demand uh, from after the COVID pandemic, after the inflation started picking up. Uh, how is the government trying to deal with that? Is there, you said that you are also speaking to the real estate developers. What is the kind of push that the government is uh, doing in this to, you know, uh, provide benefits uh, in terms of taxation or in terms of other things to the real estate developers as well as the home buyers. In the current financial year 2013-14, uh, Government of India had uh, provided 20,000 crore rupees as a special central assistance to states to carry out uh, urban planning reforms, which includes adopting town planning schemes, township development schemes, hiring more urban planners, changing the building bylaws in such a way that affordable housing uh, becomes uh, the costs go down, providing certain reservation for affordable housing and necessary reforms, including on the drainage side, on the master planning side. So 20,000 crore is a large amount and states have carried out a lot of such reforms. So government of India would keep nudging the states and providing them ins incentives so that uh, the costs of affordable housing goes down. Simultaneously, we are working with the states on the transportation issues. Uh, as cities are expanding, transportation solutions become very important. So the farther you go, if there is a good road or a metro connectivity, and if there are good buses or metro available, people can travel from a further distance, say 20 kilometers, 15 kilometers. So for affordable housing, that is also a very important factor. So along with the reducing costs for urban uh, affordable housing through urban planning, we are working with the states on uh, uh, transportation solutions also. Yeah. So last question, uh, what is it that we can expect from this new scheme for middle class? Are we expecting this in the full budget and what are the contours? Give us a brief, even though the uh, capex outlay has not been mentioned yet. As already Finance Minister and Honourable Prime Minister have announced on this and we are working on the scheme. So we would let you know when the scheme contours our uh, final decision is taken.